Some diehard Apple users swear by the superiority of older iPhones. Maybe it's the design, the price or some older features like 3D Touch or the fingerprint scanner that they can't seem to let go of. So if you still want to hold on to your older iPhone for a while, here are a few tips to make it last longer and become faster. It's not a surprise that the first thing that gives out when your iPhone ages is the battery. Luckily, here are a few things you can do to make it last longer. Firstly, you can disable apps that are draining it in the background. Go to Settings, General, Background App Refresh and turn it off. Contrary to popular belief, the apps on your phone will work just fine after disabling this setting and you will still receive notifications. The only thing that will change is your battery life. Secondly, go to Settings, Privacy, Location Services and disable Location Services. They are helpful for apps like Google Maps, however your battery takes a heavy hit whenever GPS apps ping your location. You will still be able to use your Maps app, just make sure to click while using the app option the next time you launch your Maps app. And then the app will only ping your location when you open it, not in the background. And finally, if you are completely out of battery, it's useful to switch off AirDrop, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi because they consistently drain battery power by searching for a nearby connection. Another cool thing you might want to do is empty all the data that Safari stores about you. Go to settings, scroll down to Safari and then choose clear history and website data. This will remove all the history, cookies and other data from your Safari browser. What can also happen sometimes is for your iPhone to suddenly experience a lag spike and become extremely stuttery. This might be due to automatic app downloads from the App Store. To turn them off, go to Settings, App Store and switch off automatic download for apps or app updates. Now, speaking of the App Store, what can also cause your iPhone to become laggy are all those unused apps that you forgot to delete. Deleting them will free up valuable space on your phone and also improve its speed. What can also become a good practice is restarting your iPhone once in a while. The process of restarting clears out your RAM, which, especially on older iPhones, is a scarce resource. And it's not a surprise that a lot of us care about our privacy. Disabling Siri active listening by turning off listen for Hey Siri in the settings can help make sure that your iPhone isn't listening to you and also improve your battery and performance at the same time. Since now your phone doesn't have to do all that work of listening to what you're saying. And the thing is, if you really want to optimize your older devices, this list isn't enough on its own. There's actually actually one more thing you have to do to make them run faster. And that's why, if you have a MacBook, you shouldn't ignore this video where I show you how to declutter it and make it 10 times, maybe 100 times easier to use. Or this video about the 10 best settings and features to help you skyrocket your productivity on a Mac.